Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. And today I want to do some behind the scenes type of thing. It's uh, in regards to plank. Why? Because I just had to turn down a job. The homeowner had the house set three stories and they set it odd. Anyway, let me, let me tell you guys something about plank. I know all about plank. I've been ordering and buying it and working on them for over 30 years. Okay, say right here, this this particular plank right here. This is uh, NP, Nelson Pine, don't quote me on that. NP plank. What I do is, when back when I was using a lot of plank, I'd order this stuff. Last time I ordered was about 12 years ago. I just said, give me $8,000 worth, blam, blam, have it dropped at this job, and we set it and tear down. I don't do that anymore, guys. If you want plank and you want job set, call Davis Stucco with, and Andy Davis with Davis Stucco. He does all that stuff. Anyway, what is a plank? A plank is 12 feet long. Why is it 12 feet long? Because scaffold's 10 feet. You want a foot hanging off each side. Why do I have my name put on it? Because people have a so-called avaricious nature, and they forget that those are not their plank. So this is, helps with it a little bit. They, these particular uh, plank here, these are uh, laminated. like uh, they're, they're laminated and glued together. Why? Because with that being done, they have a tendency not to rot, and they're structurally stronger than, say, just a solid board. This is solid board, and I put this here for a reason. This is a Douglas fir. Usually Douglas fir are the best because they're stronger. This Douglas fir here, you can see it rotted out, and that makes it, obviously, we can't use it, so I cut them and use them for other things. Okay, this, this NP plank, it's um, laminated wood, and they glue it together, it makes it really super strong, kind of like a glue lamb beam. A glue lamb beam, 10 pieces of 2 by 4 stronger than the same solid piece of wood. So this plank here is one of the best. I actually called Andy Davis like 12 years ago. I said, dude, who are you buying your plank from? He told me, go to MP. So I called them back then. We didn't have that online stuff, Google, to Google all that. Anyway, let me show you something, guys, because the job I was supposed to do this week, it's about... 7.30 in the morning right now, so, uh, 7, 7.30. It's early, so we're getting ready to get out of here. I just thought I'd show this because that one fellow got kind of mad at me, and I thought, man, I can't risk my life on your job. Uh, we don't want this, guys. You see how that, this is, uh, we don't want that. And so the plank heat this fellow used were, were okay for building shelves or, say, building a house, but you can't walk on them. Or you can, but they're dangerous. And not only that, the back of the, house which was three stories one of the legs was on a cinder block and I thought you must be kidding I'm not going to go up there or risk my son's life on staging that's improper so let me show you a few other things notice this NP plank here it doesn't have a rod that's burnt in it or put in it some of these planks have rods and those rods are designed like say this one okay this has a rod in it now the rod is designed to hold it together so it doesn't split see these big splits here guys those big splits make them weak, and we got to work off this stuff. It's no joke. This, this particular one has a um, piece of metal around it, pretty cheesy, pretty tacky. It gets in the way. It catches. Uh, bad deal. These don't need the rod, so use those, guys. I'll show you something, too. We generally stack our plank with air to dry them out. Uh, Lou, that's his job. Lou's always doing this stuff. Once a year, twice, he'll paint the bottoms, or the ends, so that they don't uh, warp out too bad because water penetrates them, makes them weak. Now, this particular plank here, let's see here. Uh, I have my neighbor using this, and he's parking his car on it in the mud for a couple years. Uh, you see, even now this concrete here, this concrete is flat. I did it 20-something years ago. Uh, First time I ever did concrete, but it's flat. Now, see this, how it's bowed like that? Guys, you don't want to put a plank in the mud or in the dirt. Uh, just, you always stack them neatly if you want to preserve them, and we do want to preserve them. Uh, solid pieces of wood like this, nowhere near as strong as these that are laminated. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd point some of this out because the fella says, gee, Kirk, can you, can you call the guy and tell him all this stuff? And I said, is this that guy with that cool mustache and he got the tree trunk arms, no neck? He says, yeah, you know him. I said, no, I met him, but I'm not going to get my teeth knocked out and tell him, hey, dude, change 200 plank. You hired him. It's your job. You tell him. Uh, 
Anyway, so I wanted to point that out. That's, that's the plank, guys. If you're, you're a homeowner, make sure you know you hire somebody that they know what they're doing. Over here, guys. Now, personally, that long plank there, that's 20 feet long. That's a whole nother ball game, a whole nother subject. Yeah, I've worked on that too, but I figured I'd show this because uh, we're running out of room here. My wife says, uh, baby, uh, she's whining about the space, so I, that's a fact. So all this plank, I'm good, it's going to be gone in another three weeks anyway because I don't need it. I ha I'm keeping only 20, 30 plank, plus I have a whole garage full of it. I thought I'd point that out, guys, because it's not my job to tell folks, hey, if somebody hires, say, like the, the scaffold guy, for me to come and tell him what to do with his, with his scaffold. Anyway, so we're trying to make use of what little space we have in this yard. The plank, guys, it's no joke. Uh, I've seen them snap. I won't even go into the scaffold that nailed into the walls or pump jacks or any of that hanging stuff, which I worked off hanging scaffold 20, 20 stories high. That's a whole nother subject. But plank, guys, it's no joke buy the real deal and save yourself the the fear of walking on it and killing yourself you better stop squirting me on video <laughs> anyway my name is Kirk Jason on the camera me lovely wife we thank you for watching and as usual we'll see you guys on the next one once again folks we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments if you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.